It's a good day when you have a positive Bam Margera update. Finally. Subscribe to the boys, man. Most of you guys are not subscribed. So basically, I was scrolling through Instagram because I followed him. He doesn't usually post on Instagram that much, but lately it's been like a lot of skateboarding clips. There's been a lot of him hanging out at like concerts, like with, with celebrities and stuff. And also he's been doing like events like Tampa Am, like not, like he doesn't, he's not in them, but like he goes there and will support the skaters and like skate the park and everything, you know. I would hope he's not in them because I've seen his later skills. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's for sure out the prime. But so then why I wanted to update this video is because people were talking about how he's been sober for a month. And at this point, supposedly, it's almost like two months now that he's been it said like 60 days sober. Congrats on 60. And is this now, true? Do we, do we know where that right. came from? Because yeah. And how do we know? Like, because mm -hmm. here's the thing, man, he's like always kind of acting like he's sober. Right. But you can just tell by his how he talks, his yeah. mannerisms, all these things that he's probably not sober yeah like when he was beefing with steve-o it was definitely like he was not sober no no way. No, yeah. no i guess show me some stuff and okay. we'll see because i have a feeling i'm i'm not too uh believing it just yet yeah for but sure. i have high hopes dude i want him to be good i, know, and I, I hope he's i hope he's finally hit that break where he's actually going to commit himself because he wants to and not because steve-o's trying to exactly and at this point it honestly seems like his biggest driving factor is his kid which i think most people going through this kind of thing with children would be yeah, their yeah, yeah, yeah. thing so yeah. Buddy know that my cameo is back on. So if you want any happy birthdays, happy anniversaries, or just to tell your hee-haw head of a boss that you quit, any kind of shit like that, go on the cameo app. One, two, three, let's get it. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man, he said. Yeah, that was like the first uh, clip that I saw. It seemed like he was just like speaking to <laughs> his said actual sounding, fans. Dude said sounding remotely sober. True. Yeah, yeah, exactly. True. So we've got him. <laughs> Probably okay. copyright on the music, but uh, so he goes to events and does all this type of shit. Tampa Am. Up is Bam Margera here at the Tampa Am 2023. Finals are gonna start now, but I can tell you this: Laser Crawford has what it takes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's such dad mode now. It's he so is, hilarious. He is, he is. Yeah, he seems good, dude. He does yeah, seem good. Yeah, he seems like he's at least doing the skateboarding shit. Like, where everybody wants to see him is mm -hmm. in that lane instead yeah. of, like, honestly, not the jackass lane because that's where yeah, yeah, shit yeah, always yeah, gets. Yeah. It's, it's cool to see, like, the productive side of him. Yeah, the stuff and that then, he's actually been into. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, like, the most important post yeah. that he's made, and this was only a couple days ago, if I'm not mistaken, but this is, like, sort of an update on, like, what he's actually going through and, like, why he's, you know. Okay, yeah. So here we go. As I sit here at the Niagara Falls on my hike, I've come to realize I've been a miserable fuck for many years on pills and alcohol, and thanks to my girlfriend, Danny, for being a certified stretch coach and fitness trainer she has got my legs 100 percent back to normal to the point where i thought i couldn't skateboard anymore because the doctor said that from alcohol dehydration i'll never be able to skate again they were like dry rotted rubber pants and so now to complete my happiness all i want is to see my son phoenix the wolf it's been a 200 days i haven't seen him it's been a legal matter with david glasshole never ending money pit and uh, once I was on life support for eight days with a tube down my throat with COVID and pneumonia, and Nikki didn't even call to see if I was okay. I knew it was officially over. So I just want her to be happy, and it's time for us to both grow up, and I want to see my son. I love him more than anything. And thanks for the fans for understanding my pain, rock and roll. That's... Uh, okay. Yeah. So. I don't know how to feel about that because, to me, he just always has 
a little bit of question in the way that he kind of rants where it makes me not so sure that he's sober. Okay. I hope he is. Yeah. And honestly, all of these years, he probably is going to be a lot different than he was. Yeah. You know? Oh, for but sure. But it's just one of those things where, like, online, you can make people think whatever. So, like, as long as you're not looking crazy for a couple months, you can be like, yeah, the last couple months have been good. As long as you're not huffing balloons in a car like Drake Bell and you get caught. <laughs> true, 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 true. I feel the same way, but at the, at the same time, my other thing is, like, his brain has permanent That's friage saying, yeah. so you know i feel like even sober he's gonna have this like a little bit of um not slurred speech but slurred speech that kind yeah. of like a slurred thought thought too yeah yeah it's, it's hard to say it's so mm. early i mean i feel like he does sound more coherent now than he sounds he more coherent and he good. does sound genuine when he talks about his kid that's for sure well i know, you know. he's genuine about that there's yeah. no way you have a kid and just like that well, doesn't eat you up well there's some deadbeat dads out there well, but yeah, yeah, yeah i get what you mean though i don't yeah. think he's falls in that category yeah no yeah yeah, for sure. So is there any more that we have other than like his direct uh, Instagram? Like, do we have anything else? Um, any outside sources? There's that, like a, there's several outside sources. Nothing really like life updates. I haven't checked Nikki's Instagram. I don't even know if she has one, but like his, if she followed up on that. But I feel like if she followed up on this and was like, look, this is what's going on, then I feel like that would be all over the fucking news too. And like, because right. uh, what's the... The amazing company TMZ would be all over that shit because they're always following him. Well, let's peep the Reddit and see. Uh, like, That's what I was about what? to say. Three minute interview. This was two hours ago. So how are you doing, Dad? I'm doing real good. Just drove from Philadelphia. Sign of shit. There's a really good skate park down there. So you had a pretty crazy year, or at least that's what the media. Is. Yeah, I have been. I've been in five lawsuits. I'm up to a million dollars in treatments of the Florida Shuffle. But then I met Danny here, and she gave me the ultimatum of her pussy or the vodka, so I picked the first off. 70 days so. Are you Sorry about the words. I'm not. <laughs> Are you still upset at the guys from Jackass? They could all go fuck themselves except Steve-O and Chris Bonnie. Would you ever do another Jackass movie? Hell no! Put me in a ring with Knoxville and I'll fuck him up Sandman in one punch. I know you and your brother are not probably close because of all the stuff he said about you on Twitter. I don't read it. You still skateboarding? Hell yeah. Are you done with hard party? Yes, because she gave me the ultimatum for pussy or the mic. So I picked her. Oh, it's weird, man. I don't it know. is, because he definitely still seems aggressive. It, well, it doesn't feel to me that he's all the way committed, because he said he keeps referring back to, like, she gave me the ultimatum, the pussy or the vodka, and I chose the pussy. Yeah, like, but what if the but pussy that's for disappears? Today. Yeah, that's for today, <laughs> and, like, what about in, you know, yeah. six months? Oh, I've had enough pussy, now I want, you know what I mean? Right. It just He's not saying anything that indicates that, like, he is over it. He mm -hmm. decided to... So it might be dismal. I hope he I hope he does well. Yeah. And I hope he continues on his path or whatever. But in my opinion, it's gotta be God so with the green shits, green. dude. It's gotta be him that wants to stay clean forever. Yeah. You know, and that's like I think that when you when you have somebody that's that's there mentally, you can tell. Yeah. Like when Steve O was done, you could you immediately could feel that he was done and you knew it. But in this scenario, I'm just like It's been up in the air. Regardless how, if it's 70 yeah. days, 90 days, even if he makes it a year. Yeah, yeah. And mm. it, it could be a whole nother roller coaster coming, you know, to ride out the rest of the year, the beginning of next year. But I hope that, yeah. I hope she can keep him in line. Cause I mean, if, if she's what he's relying on to like stay sober, then I hope that she's down to, right. cause she's got put up with a lot probably just, you know. Um, my thing too is like the thing that, you know, the jackass guys, whatever, he doesn't need them, but I do think he needs to mend the relationship with his brother and his parents. Like I feel like mm. excluding the girlfriend and the fucking pussy, your second support system should be your family. Are, they, they, not, are they not good? He, he's not good with Jess, April, or Phil, no. Is there more on here? Uh, the only other thing I was going to say is the the trial. That's it. And then we really wrap it up. Yeah, his trial is coming up in November oh. for the shit, the assault from like the beginning of the year when we were talking about it. Trial date. Yeah, because I remember us seeing this clip and shit, him leaving back in April for assaulting Jess, his brother, at the mm -hmm. castle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be in court November 15th. Investigators said that Margera was punching and kicking his brother's locked bedroom door early one morning. His brother exited the room. Police say he found a handwritten note. If you ever blank, if you ever think of calling the police on me, I will F you up. 
Found him in the kitchen, and Margera screamed at him, became aggressive, punched him in the head, and grabbed his arm. Margera said, I'll kill you, I'll put a bullet in your head, according to the affidavit. Now he's facing charges of assault and terroristic threats, dude. Well, hopefully That's his it. brother drops the charges if they're cool, but I don't know if they're cool or That's not. That's what I'm saying. It's going to have to be mended or, yeah, I mean, he's talking about his lawyers and this and that, and it's like he's in a money pit because of all this shit mm -hmm. that he's going on. He wants to see his kids, so that's going to be a legal battle. And he's getting charged with the assault. It's going to be a legal battle. Like, it's just, yeah, he can't catch a break. He needs to stick through all the stuff that's coming up and don't catch any more charges. Get those behind you. Yeah. But it's kind of on him and how mm -hmm. he moves forward. And, I mean, my opinion, I don't see it yet from him. I see him trying. Yeah. I don't see him uh, fully committing, but I hope that he does. I don't yeah. know. And so, November 15th, after the trial, I'll be interested to see how that goes. Yeah, if anything happens with that, we will definitely keep we'll you update updated. You. Um, I guess that's kind of it. Yeah. Short and yep. sweet. Looking positive, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We said that before in another video. I know, but I mean, hey. <laughs> yeah, hey. You can't give up on people either, no, so, no, yeah. you know. Be there hope, for Bam. I hope his girl's really down to stick it through the, you know, through the whole thing. I love you, Bam. Yep. Get better, bro. Like and subscribe. It's the face live on twitch.tv. Yeah. Fucking leave it yes, in, I guess. Dude. Fuck it. There's going to be, we're going to have, we have dark mode, now we have green mode, dude. Green mode is cool. <laughs>